Back though. Yeah, he said in his acceptance speech that Denzel told him that at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for him. I'm the devil. If I'm Chris Rock, I'm the devil that's coming for him. I'm coming up out that purple Tom Ford, a Brioni, or a, a Caesar Antolina. I don't know who that was, but I'm coming up out of that. I'm coming up out of these clothes, but I don't care nothing about that. Man, you can't do that to somebody, Skip. So now co comedians, can they not say anything, a word about people coming up on stage? That, so don't go, listen, if you're sensitive, don't you take your ass to no comedy show because these are comedians and they make light of situations. So if you go down there and you got on some bull jive, they're going to make fun of you. If you look like some bull jive, they're going to make fun of you. What Chris Rock should have thought about. I say the joke. The person that I say the joke about, her husband. So now I already feel tension. I feel confrontation. Or I'm getting off the first one. Because the moment I feel confrontation, I got to, I got to end it. I'm not going to let you walk up on me like that. We argue, Skip. If, if we going back and forth. You across the room and here you come walking towards me. What I think? You coming to offer me a drink? What he should have done is what DC Young Fly did last year when somebody came up on the stage and whipped him. He's protecting his wife. Well, where was her protection of a man when she was at the red table talking about what she was doing with this entanglement? Where was the, her protection of her husband? He a bigger man than me. I ain't that kind. I ain't that big a man. Ain't a road high enough for me to take. Here's the thing of it. I understand the defending the honor of your wife. I'm that dude. Oh. But you don't have to do well, something. He didn't dishonor her. For that. He didn't do that. That joke was no, not didn't. worthy of, of, of the reaction. If he was going to have a reaction, I think that Will should have done the man mm -hmm. thing was step to him afterwards in that press room. And if he wanted to slap Chris in, he could have slapped Chris in the press room and seen how it went. <laughs> but see, Will laughed. <laughs> but see, he laughed at the joke till he saw Jada's reaction. Yeah. Now, Will's it now, but now let me tell you something. That's a Hollywood move now to go up there on national TV, slap another black man, turn around your back and walk off because you know he can't do nothing. See, and I know this. I know he know this because Will been in Hollywood long enough. So now to turn your back. And walk off. You gonna slap the dude, and then turn around and walk off. You know, in real life, that that ain't the way this gonna go. You already but know. You know and, and, no. and 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 Rock is a Jersey boy, so no. So and I didn't think the moment was that. And I think he overreacted, like Carla said. He paid too much into the moment. His acceptance speech that was raggedy, apologizing to the Academy. Uh, but, but but here's what yeah, I think is gonna happen. When go this go down and wake up the right way. There's going to be some type of banning from the Oscars of Will Smith. Yeah. Because, look, they took Kanye off the Grammys. He mm -hmm. They took him off the Grammys. The, the Oscars is all Hollywood is about. It's their biggest moment. And for you to do that on the biggest moment... Yes, they don't the condone night, violence. They right. don't, the Academy and does not condone Denzel violence. Denzel told him right. Yeah. In your it biggest is, moment is when the devil come for you. Yeah. You should have handled that. What did you think as you watched it unfold and then what happened after? I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. There was some question today about if anyone else had walked from the audience and done that, they would have been escorted out by security or maybe even arrested. The police asked, asked Chris if he been. wanted to file charges. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You know, that insult is going to last a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and disapprove or sh show a disapproval or say something on Twitter or whatever, you, you know, you do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. No, no, I agree. I, I think we all agree on that. I just thought, Jim, that it escalated to that. You know what I mean? That it escalated to that level. It didn't escalate. Mm -hmm. It came out of nowhere because Will has something going on inside him that's frustrated. And I, I, I wish him the best. I really do. I don't, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have anything against Will Smith. He's done great mm -hmm. things. But that was have not a to good moment. It cast a, a pall over everybody's shining moment.
last night. You know, a lot of people worked really hard to get to that place and to have their moment in the sun and to, to get their award for the really hard work they did. And, a, and, a, and it, it is no mean feat to go through all the stuff you have to go through when you're nominated for an Oscar. It's a gauntlet of devotion that you have to do. And, uh, and you know, just it was just a selfish moment to cast a pall over the whole thing. This is a day that we all will never forget. It is burned in our minds. It will be talked at at dinner tables. It will last for generations. This will be brought up for years to come. This is not going to go away. One man ruined his life for one woman because he wanted to show his love. He wanted to show how tough he was. His career and his reputation is forever damaged. See, guys, we all can learn a lesson from this. And if you're dating or in a relationship right now or even married, if your woman controls you, if she has you by the balls, if she runs the show, if she dictates how things are going to go, if she ultimately controls your emotions and makes the final decisions, it will never end well. This is why guys I always tell you, remain strong, remain stoic and make your decisions based on logic. See, when Jada Pinkett Smith gave Will the death stare and pretty much gave him the nod, what happened was he switched his whole mood and that is dangerous because if a woman controls your mood, She's going to cause you to do a lot of silly, illogical, goofy things, things that you will regret. Because here's the thing. She wants you to be her attack dog. She wants you to do her bidding. When women ultimately make decisions, it's not for the betterment of everybody. It's not for the betterment of you, the man and her. It's for her own satisfaction, her own needs and her own ego. This is why. When you do things, especially when you have a girlfriend or a woman or whatever situation you might be in, make sure you're thinking long term, number one. Number two, you're using logic. And number three, you're thinking, OK, how could it just not benefit her, but it's benefiting me? Because any decision that you make as a man, there's responsibility, there's accountability, and it's ultimately repercussions, good or bad. When it comes to women, they don't necessarily have to experience that. They can make a decision. Everybody say, okay, oh, it's okay. Or they do something that's off. And they say, okay, here, I'm there to pick you up. As a man, that's not there for you. So when you do something silly like Will Smith, when you do uh, act out of character and, and do all these different silly things because of love, you will always lose. And ultimately, you could get yourself killed. You can get yourself jailed. You can lose your freedom. And like Will Smith, he lost his reputation and his ultimately his career. Because who's going to want to cast him? I mean, what movies or shows is he going to be in? It looks really bad. And Chris Rock, he actually came up on top. Ticket sales are going up for him. I mean, the entire comedy community is coming to the aid of Chris Rock. And Will Smith is looking silly because now everybody's coming out and saying, listen, once the dust settled, once that smack was heard around the world, they're saying, dude, you look like a fool. Why would you conduct yourself like this? And on top of that, he got on stage crying, bawling his eyes out, all because he wanted to prove his manhood to the world that he's not a coward and to show his wife that I will love you no matter how uh, much I have to do for you. No matter what crazy things I have to do for you, I'm going to show you that I'm here for you. And that will ultimately hurt any man that follows the path, that follows the uh, guidelines and the blueprint of what Will Smith did that night at the Oscars. Yeah, he won an award, but that reward is not overshadowed by what he did. He will always remember that. He will wake up thinking and wondering, I should not have done that. When you act on emotions... When you use your feelings to make decisions for you as a man, not for a woman, as a man, it's going to hurt you in the long run because they're counting on you as a man to lead, to use logic, to remain calm and to make sound, logical, long term decisions for the group. See, Jada Pinkett Smith, she's a selfish individual. She's a Jezebel. She's a creature who only cares about being protected at the expense of Will Smith's reputation, his career, his income. Yeah, he might be set for life, but it's the thing, his earned potential and where he could have been is gonna just take a nosedive. 
And on top of that, look at his kids. <laughs> I mean, just think, look at his family. Uh, they're all out of whack. They're all a lot of sorts. Guys, be careful out there when you're in these dating relationships. Make sure that if a woman is manipulating you, if you feel like you have to prove your worth, or if you have to go out and physically fight somebody or put yourself in harm's way, she's not the one for you. Let her go.